Hello, my name is Igor Donko and uh, in this video I will do the unboxing of the ASO 2436W monitor and I will also do a short review of this monitor. The box itself is pretty light. I just got it uh, yesterday and I can't wait to open it and let's see what's in it. Okay now. So let's do the unboxing. Uh, this is the first time for me doing the unboxing cam, so I hope it works out fine. Okay, first I remove the paper. Okay, cut the Connect power cable. Okay. And the monitor. The DVI cable. Okay. Pretty heavy. That's all that is in the box. Here are some instructions, the CD. And let's see the monitor. Okay. Some information about the product. Let's put this here. Okay, so this is the monitor. I've got the instructions, the power cable, the connection cable, the DVI cable. It's all here. And yet another view from a different perspective. Okay, uh, next thing, I'll plug this monitor to my computer and let's see how it works. So now I've connected the monitor to my computer. It's right here and uh, this gray color fits quite well with my existing Samsung that I have for 8 years and it still works. Uh, the only thing I got missing is this uh, power cable which is made for US and I can't use it but luckily I had my own so I, I used it with this monitor. I already tested the monitor a bit, now the image is very bright uh, and I have also disabled some eco, ecological functions. Um, uh, you have uh, a couple of functions, one is that monitor turns itself automatically, it turns off uh, if you don't move. So I didn't move uh, or I, I was sitting still for three minutes and the uh, monitor just uh, said it's going to turn out to, to save some energy. I disabled that and uh, I also disabled the function which um, manually, which automatically adjusts 
to the lightning surroundings. Um, I also disabled that. So the next thing I will do is I will um, do some monitor calibration with the Subspider Express 2 that I use. Um, I will not go into this calibration here in this video. Uh, there are other videos on the, on the YouTube that are very good about this. So um, when I do this calibration, we'll continue. I just calibrated the display and let's see uh, how the image looks like now. Next. Okay. Um, and here is the switch. This is uh, the preview image um, and the colors after the calibration. And this is before calibration. Now the calibrated and before calibration. As you can see, at least I can see it from here, the colors are, have changed. Um, now I have a calibrated monitor. I've been uh, using this monitor now for a couple of hours. I had uh, calibrated the display um, and I'm quite satisfied with the, the colors, with the image. Especially it's much easier for me now to, to work uh, because I have a wider, uh, wider space where I can work on. Um, there's only one thing I noticed. I mean the colors are look good and the image looks sharp uh, but there's one thing that I noticed between the new monitor and the old monitor the Samsung um, if you can see it just a second um, on the old monitor I see that that uh, the icons look much sharper I don't know if you can see but uh, the icon on the right is the uh, image from the Samsung um, and the icon looks sharper uh, and on the left side is the uh, icon from the, the new ASO and uh, looks like it, the monitor has larger pixels uh, and um, the Samsung has a higher pixel density if uh, I understand it correctly so there's just one minus uh, that I see with this monitor, uh, but other than that, I'm satisfied for now.
Well, this was my unboxing and uh, simple review of the ASO monitor. Uh, if you want to find out more about this monitor, I've uh, looked below this video. I've included a couple of links uh, for more professional reviews on it. And uh, I also included a couple of links where you can purchase this monitor for a reasonable price. Uh, links are included. Thank you for watching. Uh, click like if you like the video or even subscribe for future videos. Goodbye.